Welcome to this video for OCR Cambridge Technicals Level 3 in Information Technology. This video we're going to look at Unit 8 Project Management focusing on the pass criteria P1. P1 states that you need to be able to explain the different phases within an identified project life cycle. So within this video we're going to explore what that means, look at some of the content that you need to include, look at a method or a particular approach to present the information or the evidence and also we'll end by looking at some example work. So we'll begin by looking at the unit guide for project management and you'll see on one of the pages it states out that you need to understand the project life cycle. 1.1 is the various different project methodologies it gives you some examples Prince2, Waterfall, DMAC and so on. The one you want to focus on is 1.2. So 1.2 says the project life cycle has four stages. The initiation phase, the planning phase, the execution phase and the evaluation phase. Now in order to meet P1 you need to explain and expand what these four different stages are or phases as they're described here. In order to produce or present your information and your evidence effectively, I would suggest that you use a writing frame. In each of your writing frames, you should have the title of the criteria. So P1, explain the different phases within an identified project life cycle. And then I would list what the different life cycle stages are. I keep saying stages, it refers to phases. Um, so I would probably in your coursework use the word phases. Although this isn't a requirement, it's probably good practice to explain what the project life cycle is. Obviously in this video I won't go in, de through, uh, in detail what that is because that's a theory. Um, but I would put a paragraph in here explaining what the project life cycle is. And then we move into these stages here where it asks you to explain. Now for an explanation we're probably looking for an example. So I would always include an example of what the initiation phase is. You probably want some kind of definition or description first. And then you want to give an example. So you could say, in the initiation phase, this is defined as, and then in your second paragraph, you could explain what the initiation phase is by saying something on the lines of, for example, and then um, populate it with, uh, with an example. When you're producing your work, obviously it needs to be your own original work and words. However, you can use online resources, books, quotes, etc. And what I want to do in this video and for some of the subsequent videos is just spend a brief moment explaining to you how you need to reference your work and the content correctly. So let's say, for example, that in answering this question, uh, or explaining what the different phases of the initiation phase are, you go to the internet and you search for some information about the four phases. We've got here the initiation phase. So what happens is you need to identify a business plan, problem or opportunity, brainstorm ways the team can meet to solve the problem. So I'm actually going to use this as a quote. Copy it. I'm going to go back to my text. Paste it in. Now at the moment, this is not my own words. So I cannot just leave it there. What I need to do is adapt it or I need to reference it. So this is what I'm gonna, this is how I'm gonna approach it. Uh, this phase has been described as I'm going to put it in quotes because it's not my words. What I'm just doing here is changing the tense. Brainstorming ways. Okay. Now, I didn't write this. This is a quote from the website. 
So what I need to ensure I do is go back to the website, copy the address. You can right click copy or control C. And then here I can quote the reference where I got it from. So I'm not saying it's my work. I clearly reference where I've got it from. Uh, the other way of doing this is to, if I just copy this again, is to, um, is to state the source you got it from first. So I'm going to write lucid chart states that this phase is And I put my quotes in there. So I'm clearly setting out where I got the information from. It's quite clear it's not my own. Now, this is not enough for the um, to meet the criteria because you need to be able to explain. And this is clearly just a description. It's not an explanation. So we're gonna have a look at some example um, responses and you can see uh, where the students and how the students have produced the uh, their responses to this work. So if we have a look at this first example of the work, this is a pass criteria and you can probably just get a general feel that the student would have passed because of the uh, the work. But don't be fooled into thinking that it's the amount of content that you write that enables to meet the pass. It is the actual um, meeting the, uh, the assessment criteria of explaining. Um, and we'll look at an example in a minute. I'll show you in a bit more detail what I mean. So in this um, this student's response, they've actually broken the initiation phase into three separate categories. An overview, which is kind of like the description, the activities that take place, and this could be akin to the explanation. And they've also talked about the common issues that come up during the initiation phase. It's a very good piece of work. We then move into the planning phase, they then move to the execution phase, and then they've covered the evaluation phase. And the key to the success in this particular piece of work is that they have given a description of what happens in the initiation phase and then they've talked about then they've talked about what actually goes on here and this bit here is really the explanation and they've talked about the the people that are dealing with it the different documents and what would happen let's have a look at another example so you can see in this example, this is a simple one page response, initiation phase, planning phase, execution phase, evaluation phase, all covered. And as I mentioned earlier, it's not the amount or the quantity that you write, it's ensuring that you hit this criteria. So what we're looking for is, has this student explained the different phases? So what we're looking for in here is an explanation or examples of what happens in the initiation phase. Um, this is a pass, but I wouldn't say it's a strong pass. Um, somewhere between the piece of work you saw before and this one is a good benchmark to, to aim for. You'll notice that um, in these different explanations, they've said what's happening. They said what's going on. There's workflows, a creating task. Team, mem team members need to be briefed. Um, they've also talked about a budget here. So they're describing or explaining what's, should I say, explaining what's happening in each of these phases. Um, this piece of work could be improved by including a, a reference to the type of documents that are used, although they do briefly mention it. So in the planning phase, the project plans will be documented, but perhaps we'd like a little bit more detail about what happens with the project plan. Uh, rather than just a reference to it. Here we've got a closure report that needs to be completed. Again, they haven't really explained what a closure report is and that would be uh, useful. But as I said, as a whole piece, this is a pass and uh, meets the criteria. So that wraps up the overview of the Project Management Unit 8 pass criteria. Um, if you've got any comments, questions, any queries please leave them below and I will do my best to answer them. You probably guessed the next video is going to be pass criteria 2. Thanks for watching, hope it was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.